point, uh, viewers, to be scoffed at. Any talk of Hindu phobia has been laughed off, uh, Dr. Anand Ranganathan, in this country. Uh, here it is in black and white. I'm not saying it. The document on your screens is saying it. This is the assessment of people who are in the know. This is an intelligence document. At other times, when there are terror attacks, people point to the same documents and say, oh, you didn't read the fine print. You didn't see what was written there in black and white. And today, I bet that the people to the left and right of you are still going no, to doubt I this and say, oh, this is some, you know, uh, crazy propaganda being put out by the RSS or the BJP to try and turn. And there, the, the man is again nodding his head. Rahul, you see, this is a problem, Rahul, Dr. Ranganathan. Rahul. Rahul, Rahul, one yes, second, I'm not addressed you. Is your name Dr. Ranganathan? Is it? If it is, you tell me. If I've lost my marbles, you tell me, sir. Have I asked you the question? No. Wait your turn. Dr. Ranganathan, please. This is a very serious issue. No, absolutely. Good evening, Rahul. It's a very serious issue, and I must congratulate you and Times now for getting out this intelligence document. I have to say this. It is eerie eerie that you are saying it today what you are because hardly a week has gone by when the man who first proposed that Kashmir should be an Islamic state 26 years ago this all what you are saying Rahul is and you would know this because you are a Kashmiri Pandit five lakhs of you were driven out from the 90s uh, in the 1990s from Kashmir because of that man who died a week ago Gilani what this document says is straight, straight out of Gilani's playbook. And people may not believe me, so I have to, I have to quote verbatim, Rahul, if you, if you allow me, just a couple of minutes. Because people must understand. One minute. People must understand. Just shut him down, this Ayaz. Shut him down, please. This is not right. This is a civilized debate we are having, sir. You may subscribe to some ideology that doesn't recognize the mores of civilization. Keep it to yourself. You're sitting in India, okay? You're not sitting in Kabul. Yes, Dr. Ranganath. Yes, so what I was saying was uh, that, you know, in case uh, many of us think that this is happening for the first time, Hindu phobia, Islamic supremacy, uh, views, uh, let, me, let me enlighten them. Because Gilani, after all, as you know, Rahul was responsible for pushing Kashmir into religious fanaticism, communal bigotry, genocide, Hindu exodus, and untold misery. And it is shocking that a week ago there were Indians who were sad and mourning his death. Rahul, a man is known and understood best by his own words. So let me, as I said, quote here verbatim. I repeat verbatim the words and quotes of Gilan. They will give you a glimpse into his world, a world of hatred for India and Hindus, specifically Hindus. These are taken from his book, Nawai Hurriyat, that he published in 1995. Number one. India is a bigger enemy of Islam and Muslims than even Israel. Two, Muslims are a calm, wholly separate from the Hindus. Muslims are a complete separate nation on the basis of their religion, culture, civilization, customs and practices and thought. Their nationalism and the foundation of their unity cannot be based on their homeland, race, language, color or economic system. The basis of that unity is Islam and Islam alone, unquote. Three, Pakistan was created for the hegemony of Islam and for establishing an Islamic system. Pakistan is the land of the dreams of all Kashmiris because it was one in the name of Islam, unquote. Four, accession to India would result in the Kashmiri Muslims having to live perpetually under Hindu slavery. The entire struggle of the Kashmiri people is for the sake of Islam and accession to Pakistan. Five, quote, Kashmir must become an Islamic state. Our goal is the establishment of Islamic government. Our struggle is for the sake of Islam, unquote. Six, Islam removes people from the slavery, but secularism makes the people slaves of Delhi. The ongoing struggle against Indian rule in Kashmir is not an ordinary war, but rather a jihad, unquote. Seven, and this is important, Rahul. I plead with the Afghan Mujahideen to come forward and help liberate us from India and by doing so express their bond of Islamic brotherhood and religious commitment. Eight, hmm. in the light of the Quran, it has now become incumbent to the people of Pakistan to engage in jihad in Kashmir. In fact, 
participating in the Kashmir jihad is now a binding duty incumbent not just on the Pakistani Muslims, but rather the entire worldwide Muslim Puma. Unquote. So Rahul, these are the exact words of Gilani. This was Gilani and this was his thought. Is there any wonder that there are hundreds, perhaps thousands of Gilanis, as General Bekshi alluded to, right now in Kashmir? Is there any doubt whatsoever? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you that there are those who say that we are indulging in generalizations and stereotyping. You know, Edward W. Sides... But you cannot that you interfere in the conviction. internal affairs of any country. One second, yes. Quickly, Dr. Ranganathan, and then I want to bring in Dr. Trivedi also. Yes, Dr. Me, Ranganathan, I yes. I am yes, very clear in what I can see what you, you want. Have to yeah. his fader because he won't, he's so scared, he won't allow me to finish. So please, I request you to uh, reduce yeah. his fader. Rahul, yeah. Yeah. this guy has been lying through his teeth. It is not that just, uh, you know, a week ago, when Ms. Mehbooba Mufti wanted Sharia in, uh, in Taliban-ruled Afghanistan in May 2019. She said, advocated for Sharia law in Kashmir, stoning as a punishment in May 2019. This guy is lying. And you, you asked him a very pertinent question. When he said there has been no Islamization of Kashmir, how can somebody lie on, on the face? Does he not know the ISIS flags that were unfurled in the uh, Jama Masjid in, in Kashmir in Srinagar? Does he not know five lakh Kashmiri Pandits were driven out? There was a genocide. Is he denying all what those that? nine verbatim statements that I have made? No. From Hilary's book, no, 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 they were not driven out. Ranganathan, they were not driven out. They, they were hosted uh, uh, under a conspiracy. They, they were not hosted by don't, the majority. Don't be, uh, um, uh, don't be an apologist, sir. Don't be an apologist for the Holocaust. And they were don't be an apologist, Mr. Ayah. That is the proof that how Modi government has made our country safe. Okay, well, uh, Dr. Ranganathan, quick, uh, quick uh, interjection from you before I wrap this up. Yes. Yes, no, uh, absolutely. I do agree with uh, Dr. Saab, uh, uh, you know, Sudhan Shuji, when he says that the BJP has done, especially in 2019 onwards, the abrogation of Article 317, yes. But I have to say this, that people like this Mr. Ayaz, who is sitting amongst us, people like him who say that the pundits were not driven out, that there was no exodus, there was no genocide. These people have been encouraged for the last 20 they, years. Six of them have been ruled by BJP. Yes. You know, we have to deal with these people. Saap apna fun kab uthata hai? Jab wo dekhta hai ki state weak hai. Jab 5 lakh log abhi bhi apne desh mein beghar hain. Vapis nahi ja sakte. This is an indication that India is a weak nation. Ki hum apne logon ko You go back. Jo Dr. Ranganathan, you go back to the history. Aise log, aise Dr. Ranganathan, you go back to the history and see how they were driven out. उनको इंकरेजमेंट मिलती है। मैं एक बार नहीं।